Okay, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. We are about to hear a pre recorded uh, session from our group in Sorrento, uh, organized by Jens Klein, one of our Plone uh, Board of Director members and a very long time contributor to the Plone platform. So please go ahead and take it away, Jens. Hi, everyone. I'm Jörg Zell from Interactive in Germany. Welcome to our talk, Catch Them If You Can. And if I say our talk, you will see that we will probably set a new record for the most speakers in any talk at any blown conference ever. I will be joined in the next few minutes by many of my colleagues from the IT on Board project. And IT on Board stands for IT Community Onboarding Program Vocational Orientation for Young People. This project is funded partially by the European Union, and basically it means that we want to address early onboarding of teenagers into the field of IT, and also we have a special focus on open source communities like the Plone community. In this project, we are three Plone companies, and we also have partners which are not IT companies, and they are specialized in the organization of internships and vocational orientation in general. Catch them if you can, that's the title of this talk. But why should you, as blown companies out there, catch teenagers? Well, some of the reasons are pretty obvious and universal to all of us, no matter where we are or how big our companies are. Our first point is that um, in many countries, we're actually experiencing a shortage of trained and skilled people. The demand for IT experts is ever increasing and companies are in a constant struggle to find people to hire. Some even call that a war for talents. And with the demographic change coming in many countries, this problem will even get bigger in the next years. My second point is, if you have a closer look at open source communities, you will see a lack of young people of a new generation in free and open source. Interestingly, according to a GitHub Classroom report from 2020, most IT students, and this number is increasing over the years, have already contributed to an open source project during their studies at least once. And 11% do it at least once a month or even more often. But the question is, how could this translate into engagement? And speaking of engagement, Plone is a community and a community lives from engagement and Plone definitely needs young, engaged people. And finally, our problem in tech is not only a lack of young talents, but a lack of diversity in general, or let's say a lack of diversity friendly working environments. Diversity meaning a broad range of people's backgrounds, regional origins, sexual orientation, gender, and so on. For example, if you have a look at the re representation of women, Many studies show that the tech industry remains toxic for the vast majority of women. Statistically speaking, for the US, for example, women make up half of the overall US workforce, but only 20% of the tech industry and less than 3% of open source communities. And looking at the beginning of job careers, we can also see a very sad number. Only 14% of job applications for a specialized IT job are actually coming from women. So this is the reality we face and we have to deal with and we want to change together. We will hear from Stefania from Abstract how she deals with gender diversity in her company. Thank you, Jörg, and hi, everybody. Indeed, women are still unrepresented. And according to a study by the German Federal Employee Agency, only 16% in, in the IT sector are women. We need to break down stereotypes. The typical computer nerds, in my opinion, tends to be assigned to men. And moreover, the isolated and antisocial uh, character traits are usually associated with professional excellence. This cliche do not really encourage women <laughs> to enter the IT sector. And this is for me one of the main reasons why equality is at the moment not really present. At Abstract, 
indeed we have established a balance of three to one in the distribution of training and internships. It means that after three females, we take next is a male candidate. We do it to break down prejudice. Biases against women in the workplace have been documented in variety of study. For example, uh, to uh, American University uh, compare the acceptance rates of contributions from men versus women in the open source community. And surprisingly, the results show that the code is more likely to be accepted by women if the user profile on the platform, in this case was Git, is gender neutral. It say quite a lot. And <clears throat> women in abstract, so what we do, women are computer nerds. So yes, women do not have to extra prove their competence. We fully agree that the general requirements for the educational policy to transfer IT skills in schools, especially for women, is really important. So yes, the IT on board project aims to improve this inequality. But why is it so hard to attract young people and not only women for a career in tech? And to get to the bottom of this question, we ask teenagers in schools, is IT something you consider to work in? And we got a lot of answers in writing. And um, so we tried to summarize their main reasons in 11 statements. Here we go. I am not really interested in a career in the IT because you probably spend the whole day in a single fixed workstation. I'm not interested working in the IT field because you spend the whole day in front of a screen. I'm not interested working in the field of IT because I'm not really interested in computers and that's why I only have basic knowledge of computers. I'm interested in the professional future in the field of IT because the IT world covers many areas. I am interested in a professional future in the field of IT because you can be very creative in the job. I am interested working in the IT because I think it's very future oriented and it's constantly gaining in demand. I am interested working in the field of IT because I think it's pretty secure. I'm interested working in the field of IT in my future because I think you normally have a regular working day. I want to work for the IT industry in my future because I'm very fascinated in computers, consoles, videos, and some other electronic stuff. I'm not really interested working in the IT field because the programming language and computer skills scares me off. I'm not interested working in the IT field because I associate boring nine to five working days. Now, let's listen to a point of view from Alexander Bell from Spain. He's an internship expert. And Christina asked him some questions. For example, what advantages companies have from taking interns? Let's see what he had to say. Alexander is from Spain. He's one of our partner for the IT on board EU program. And he is the expert for internship. And tell me, Alexander, what is EFC specialty? Yeah, good morning. Hello, Christina. Yes, uh, EFC, we are working in an um, international movement of uh, workers and trainees. Uh, in Spain, we are offering offering internships for trainees or, uh, from all over the world. And we have uh, not only this offer, we are offering training programs for trainees and for workers uh, to live and to work in all countries, different countries. Okay, and how important is an internship for young professionals? Yeah, I think uh, it's, well, it's the first time uh, or the first contact to reality for the trainee. Uh, everything is getting real. The tasks are real and the colleagues are real. Uh, the feedback is real. I have to, to be responsible with my work. It's not an exam. It's a reality. Uh, and uh, for me, it's a proof. Uh, if um, what I learned and now I see uh, how I have to work, if it uh, was uh, the right choose uh, for my future. Hmm? What are the advantages for companies? 
Oh, there are many advantages. Uh, on one hand, for the company, it's a contact to, to young talents uh, or a development for, for, uh, from young talents which might be a future recruitment uh, for my company. Uh, on the other hand, it's, it's to attract young people if I have uh, attractive internship programs. Uh, it's good for, for the branding of the company. Uh, what should the company pay attention to an internship? Well, I think the first important thing is uh, the trainee has to be treated with, with respect. Uh, then it's uh, very important that we find uh, the right tasks uh, for the trainee. He can't be under challenge or over challenge. He, she needs a, a mentor and he, she uh, has to be integrated in, in company life and in the team as soon as possible. Okay, we will make a guidance about an remote blended remote internship so what should be a part of a remote internship well the remote internship is not very different as a normal internship uh, we have to to uh, do the same exactly the same organization um, and the social contacts uh, they are replaced with, with online inter online contacts but it's exactly the same there are no what difference Okay, what can be done remote and what should rather be done in real life? As I said before, remote, we, we try to do uh, exactly the same as, as a, in a presential um, internship. Uh, remote has uh, the big advantage. Uh, we have no costs for, for traveling costs, not for uh, to live in another place. And we can send uh, our internship uh, everywhere we want to because he, he, don't, he doesn't need, to, he, she doesn't need to travel. So that's one of the biggest uh, advantages. So I want to talk with you companies in the community on Friday on the open space about the blended remote practice internship. And I hope you will come and we can discuss and make a guidance for you for a blended remote internship. Thank you. And thank you, Alexander. Thank you, very much. Thank you Christina. Bye bye. So in this talk, we will show you some hands on experiences from blown companies and from some non IT companies about what they do to catch them and how they do it. We are representing companies who want to take responsibility and to contribute to a new generation in IT. And if you take away one message from this talk, then it is, no matter if we are a small company or a large company, we all have to do something. Why do you welcome interns in your company? An internship is a chance for the interns, for the companies, but also for the community. Well, we have a quite big company structure. We maintain three vocational training centers in the Wales and Essen and Hamm. And uh, the training center of the construction industry of North Rhine-Westphalia welcomes interns because we offer the possibility for them to get an orientation, which kind of craft or which kind of training um, they are able or they are willed to, to make in future. It's only natural that we actively support the encouragement of young people in the IT. I think it's important to introduce and welcome young interested people into this world as best as possible, and we do it. It's also my personal concern. I'm a woman and a female manager director in this company. So in a male dominated industry <laughs> to both, I would like to share my experience and really help young people especially girls to onboard in the IT sector. For us, this is a kind of social responsibility and we got young people. Also, it gives us um, outside insights into our company and for our products and we can adjust ourselves because of that. Well, I have to say that most of our current full-time staff here started their professional career actually with an internship with us. So for us, an internship, which in this case is mostly several weeks long, is um, a very proven method to get to know each other. Our company and the intern have the opportunity um, to see if the job, the people, the company culture, if that's all a good fit.
And also, I think um, it's our responsibility to offer opportunities, even for very young talents, to have a sneak preview into the job world. And for those interns, we offer shorter formats, formats <clears throat> which normally last from one day to about two weeks. What is the motivation for interns to come to you? Well, I just can argue we have uh, a very good atmosphere at our training centers and uh, we offer a lot of different crafts on our training sites. So I think the chance for the young people to get an orientation, what is the best training and what's the best craft in future for them should be a motivation. And uh, I think the payment during our uh, apprenticeship, during the train, training time, is one of the highest in Germany. I will say Upstart is an attractive company for young people because we are a team where empathy is important. We are open-minded. Our product and services we offer for the educational service sector are appealing and modern. We work with Python, one of the most popular and modern code language, also for gamers, very attractive. We are a digital agency and always open for new spirits and fresh ideas. And we do not have to speak only German in order to work with us. English is our main language. So different. We had a young woman from uh, finished high school and did a vocational orientation um, because she liked to study computer science and like to know what is programming and so on. And in her third week, she wrote robot um, tests for the Prom project. Others are just trying uh, with, with programming. That is also different in the length of the intern. It's like three weeks or four weeks and up to half a year. And I thought it would be best to hear from the interns or from former interns. So I asked three of our current team members at Interactive who started their career with us with an internship. And here's what Luca, Richard and Louis answered to the question, what motivated them to take up this internship? Hi, I decided to do an internship in the IT industry to learn about my own strengths and weaknesses in a day-to-day -day work environment. Hi to everyone, before I started my internship at Interactive, I already had some experience through my studies in computer science. But the internship offered a good opportunity to apply the knowledge practically. Well, in my case, I was already sure what I would like to do after graduating from high school. I also knew the job. However, internships were a great way to get to know the team, how they work, and if I can get along with them. For me, working in a team always seemed to be quite uh, complex. And I have to admit, it still is. Uh, getting to learn new working methods and teamwork really helped me develop myself during my internship, though. It also was a great all-around insight in the daily business of the company and how complicated problems were solved. Which additional vocational orientation activities do you support as a company? We are visiting fairs, uh, which are spread over all over Germany. And we have a special bus it is called Baubus, the construction bus. Uh, we are driving to schools and to fairs, and this bus is an, is an old but very nice public transportation bus, omnibus, omnibus, and this is equipped with high technology, uh, virtual reality and mechanical devices for, for kids, and uh, so they can try out in an experimental way, how an excavator is pilot piloted or or can be can be used. It is very it is very very funny as well as for adults like us. And it's a very interesting thing. And of course, we have a lot of counselors visiting um, schools and uh, and all other institutions to just to make the, the branch, to make our branch, the construction branch, more attractive. The European-wide and worldwide clients we have, and partners and colleagues, are an immersive uh, option for our internship to learn different approach in the field. 
Uh, additionally, we, uh, of course, ob offer um, job place change either in uh, Berlin or Milan, which is very attractive for young people. We support and apply remote working and smart working uh, models. And additionally, we encourage participation to sprints, workshop, conference uh, events, uh, which are really appealing as well. Apart from offering internships just before hiring young talents, we do some other stuff. For example, every year we proudly participate in the Girls' Day event and welcome girls, mostly 7th or 8th grade, to explore software de development with us. And then also there are so-called Career Exploration Days, where we cooperate with schools in our area and welcome teenagers and give them an introduction to programming and web development. Do you remember? The last Plone conference 2019 in Ferrara, I have been there with two interns and they presented very proud and smart the first steps in Plone. But it was not only their first step in Plone, it was their first contact with the open source world. And a decade ago, Hannes told us that his internship at the Klein and Partner KG was his ticket to the Plone community. All right, thank you very much for sharing all your experiences. Let's now turn to our solution. Jens will tell us more about IT on board. Building bridges, that was the idea. Bring them together, our young talents, the pupils and students and our Plone community or IT community, open source community, IT organizations and offer internships in this environment. Is this enough? Probably not, because students, pupils need to find out if they want to work in IT. And yeah, some want and some don't. This needs professional vocational orientation. Since we are IT companies with no expertise in vocational orientation and only small expertise with internships, we found partners in exact those areas. Together, we developed a comprehensive concept and then, yeah, let's just do an Erasmus Plus project. Well, no, I don't tell the pitfalls, but let's go on. Our concept to catch them all, this is five in a row, five pillars we stand on. In our concept, all is connected. First, we want just to raise interest with an escape game. And second, we give teachers a tool for IT project week to deepen interest. And next, an e-learning tool helps to get pupils and students more into the different fields of IT. On the other hand, the virtual internship guide for blended remote internships give companies on how to run internships. And last but not least, we have an internship exchange platform to connect pupils or students with the companies offering internships. Now let's get more into detail. Our escape game targets the early teenagers. It shows them typical job situations in the web development and IT professions. Also, it shows the concepts of open source. The escape game is concepted to be played by 10 to 30 pupils divided into groups. Our project week guide offers a detailed concept for a project week at schools on the topic of IT career orientation. Schools have the mandate to prepare pupils adequate for life in society. And this includes preparing pupils for the professional world, in our case, for the IT world. The e-learning platform offers pupils methods to learn on their own. It is composed of four courses, an introductory course on professional fields of the IT industry overall, then one about the field of the software developer, another one about the front-end developer, and the last one about the IT project manager. Additional discussion forums and collaborative formats are offered. Now we come more back to the roots of our project. First, the idea was to offer internships for students in companies of our open source project. 
In past, there were some doubts about offering internships from different companies in the community. In our opinion, internships are important for companies and interns. And to lower the barrier, we developed a guide for the companies, primarily for companies with a focus on community-based open source culture, but working and learning remotely have been deeply rooted in the IT industry anyway, but especially in the open source area, and this for decades. Meanwhile, the EU Commission also got this idea and defined goals for an open source software strategy 2020 to 2023, specifically to develop skills and recruiting expertise from open source and to increase outreach to the communities. We are perfectly in line with our project with these goals. So we developed guidelines for a virtual internship. This can be blended and or remote. So this means blended with short presence phases in the office or completely remote. This is how we work in open source and this can be transferred to internships as well. Our guideline about blended remote internship starts with an introductory part about why you should offer internships, addresses the fears of IT companies, shows you what types of internships are there and why you should do and offer internships. It also defines what a blended remote internship mean and finally offers you a model of a blended remote internship including a didactic concept, tools of remote work, and a model of a process how to run an internship. The idea is to enable companies to easily have interns with them and profit on both sides from the relation. Now, after we convince the students that the field of IT is their profession, maybe, and we convince the companies that interns are a good idea, we need to build a bridge between students and the companies. As a tool to help here, we build an internship exchange platform. As you see, all parts of our project, all the outcomes are tightly interconnected. It starts in the school system and the educational system, and then at some point it needs you, the company owner, the human resource manager to employ interns and you will find your workforce of tomorrow, the skilled young talents of today. So I hope you got some ideas in this talk on how to catch them. If you enjoyed this talk and ask yourself how you can join us or contribute to this project, then I have some ideas for you. First of all, come to our open space during this Plone conference on Friday. Christine will host an open space with the title Blended Remote Internship. Check out the schedule at what time and where we met. Second, check out our project website at tionboard.eu where you find more on all the products Jens talked about. Third, of course, follow us on your preferred social media channel. We are on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, you named it. There will be tons of results coming in the following month. So make sure that you get all the updates and follow us. Then, last but not least, please help us and get active. For example, we are looking for beta testers for our products and deliverables. And we need people who want to help us to review our internship guides. Or if you know schools in Europe who are interested in our project week or our gamification approach with the escape game, let us know. The fastest way to contact us is right after this talk. Chat with us on the Plone Conference Slack channel or join our Jitsi channel. We are here during the whole Plone Conference. So thanks again for listening to our talk. Have a great conference. Go catch them if you can. 
Bye.